Hi everyone, FT here. Welcome to my channel. And in front of you, you have the new FMS 1.2 meter Super Easy 4. I'm going to build it. Let's get building. So we've got a real instruction manual. So before we start, I'm just going to get everything out of the box and lay it out. Won't be using these. These are for floats optional floats which I have for winter to take off on the snow but I won't be using them for now this plane comes with an FMS reflex system I think it's got three accelerometers built into it and three directional sensors built into it it's basically a stabilization unit Part count, one fuselage, one wing, undercarriage, spinner cap, and the tailplane. And then literally all I'm going to do is to slide this in. These are quite deep into the foam. That's perfect. So it's a two millimeter hex driver. It's gonna go into there. Here and here, I need to drive these two in. I hate to say this, but I'm going to. That was super easy. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry, everyone. Connected tailplane. Right, so I'm joining this to this, but before I do that, I've got to make sure this is centered. Now, this has a reflex system in it, and I've no idea if I can go through the reflex system and just make it work. Let's say this, look. That's, that's centered. Here's my first complaint. I don't know if you can see that. Peg part of this servo connector is on the top and it's bent over. That's the bit that's supposed to go through the plastic hole here and hold it all in place. It's just flimsy, awful plastic, so I'm gonna have to replace that. That's the first bad thing that I've come across. Okay, so this is the same rod, but a completely different connection horn connector at the end in good condition and I've also added a bit of rubber tubing there ready to clamp it all together I've just got to put this on and adjust it well minus 10 FMS for that balls up so basically you have to join with a push rod and connector to the horn from this servo to this horn simple matter they provide a light gauge wire that doesn't matter what horn you put on the end it's too short when this is centered to go over to here the wire they provide the push rod they provide with the bend in it the Z bend is too short so I resorted to going back to this heavier gauge straight push rod that I've got with these metal connectors on the end and these are really heavily sprung connectors they don't need any uh, bits of tubing so I measured it up cut it down with my pliers and put a Z bend in it with my Z bender the only thing I had to do was bring it to the second hole down on the horn not the top hole because I had to ream the hole out to take the thicker rod so I might have to do some movement adjustments to get the maximum throws out of the elevator. So that's pretty much level now, and it's connected. So 10 out of 10 for the way this horizontal stabilizer connects, it just pushes in two screws and it's in, minus 10 out of 10 for how the clevis and the push horns connect, useless. So we're on 
zero points at the moment. The undercarriage has a little nub sticking out here on the aluminium so it can only go on one way like so and then you screw it in Now there was a plate that looked the same shape as this part of the undercarriage to go over here but you use that when you use this section for your floats. There we are, undercarriage all done. So much like a what for, doesn't it? <laughs> right, and then this bit should be fun. Let's try it up here. Go down. Oh, oh, I didn't like the sound of that, but it's okay. Down and turn. Didn't like that click, but it didn't break, so it's down and turn. We have an aeroplane. There it is. Oh, but oh, how easy was that? Not a drop of glue. We use five screws and two twist thingies. Yeah. Have to see if we get spares of those. We shall find out. And then this hatch is basically nothing more than a battery tray. So next thing is I've got to take the prop off and balance it up. and get a nice receiver in there. And I've got to a point now where I've basically set everything up and I just want to show you what I've done because I couldn't film it. So here's my receiver, an AR6210, six channel. And basically this reflex device here, the gyro, was already installed, just here. So what I've done is I've run the appropriate cables from the gyro into the receiver and they're all marked throttle, elevator, aileron and rudder and then there's another cable which is marked PPM, PWM input and that goes into my gear channel on the receiver. These two cables here are basically a Y extension for the aileron and they plug into the wing and then the wing goes on top of here and seals it all up. The gyro here solid red is on and that basically means it's in stabilization mode. Switch it it's now flashing slowly and that means the gyro is basically off so there's no gyro function at all and that's now optimized mode you can see it's flashing rapidly. This is stabilization mode the reflex will rapidly level the aircraft from any attitude when this mode is activated. In this mode the gyro is off, turns off all gyro functionality. The aircraft is flown completely manually and this is now optimised mode. Apparently it's utilising advanced solid state gyros. The reflex system maintains the aircraft's attitude by countering in-flight upsets such as gusts of wind each reflex gyro is programmed specifically for the aircraft it is installed in. Pretty good, I'm happy with that. You can see it goes through the stabilisation check. But now what I have is full control, right, left. Uh, these are wrong, so they need reversing. Let's go in, servo setup, sub trim, reverse, aileron. Right. right, left. So we look at the elevator, 
up, correct, down, correct, rudder, right, yes, left, yes. Right, so let me try and show you this. At the moment, everything is off. So I should pick the plane up and nothing should happen. There we are. And what it should do, it should try and correct with the opposite to whatever I try and I can do. Now the easiest thing to see on that are the ailerons. So if I go this way, you can see that this aileron has come up. Try and tip the plane back this way. If I come this way, you can see this aileron has come up. If I tip it down, the elevator comes up, if I tip it up, the elevator goes down. And the same with the rudder, you might not be able to catch it, but it's moving how it should do. So that's stabilisation mode. So that's back to me, and it won't try and stabilise. Then I can put it to, which is basically what they're calling on the reflex system, optimised mode. Which just irons out some of the wind gusts and the bumps. So as I tip it, the it's still trying to level itself, but not so much. So if I leave it like this, you should see this aileron over here. It's slightly up to try and balance it back. Stability mode. And stability mode, it whacks it right over and says, "Come on, you got to come back." got to also balance the prop while it's off. Well you've just joined me and I'm marking the centre of gravity out. So the centre of gravity is from the leading edge at the root 55 to 60 millimetres. So I've measured the 60 mark and drawn a line and I've measured the 55 mark and drawn a line and I've put my CAG marker in between the two. So I'm just about to put my famous cocktail sticks in there. So there's no gluing at all involved with putting this aircraft together, except when I put my CAG markers on. And then there's a tiny little bit of foam safe CA. Then I'll snip those off. The only thing I've done, which you might not have seen me do, is I've added Velcro to each of the wing tips. Both port and starboard wings and also on the bottom of the fuselage just here and there for my lights yeah went together fantastically well the prop is an FMS prop and it's a 10 by 5 so this is the prop as it came off the super easy version 4 and it's pretty good there's just this this one blade is slightly heavier see so I'm going to put just a tiny bit of tape on the back of this blade here and that's it I don't know if you can see that So thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, and keep an eye out for the FMS Super Easy version 4 Maiden, coming up shortly. Cheers.